So lately, the power supply fan on my Ender 3 has become very loud. So what we need to do is replace it. It's just these two screws. But before we do that, we have to take the whole power supply off the frame. So we're going to do that now. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and unplug our power connector here. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and pull that apart carefully. And then we're going to inspect it as there's been a lot of problems with these lately. I'm going to look all over. I don't see any burn marks on mine. And I'm going to look at both sides. Inspect yours. If you see any burn marks, you might want to do that fix as well. The next thing we're going to do is we have to take the power supply off of the frame. We do that by these two bolts here. And we're just going to use the uh, Allen wrench that came with the kit. Um, not that one. There you go. We're going to use the Allen wrench that came with the kit to go ahead and take those off now using the small side to break them loose. So I got the bottom one out and just the top one's left and it's loose. So one thing you want to note is you want to go ahead and support your power supply while you're loosening this last one because you don't want it just to fall off the frame. And be careful because you don't want to strip that thin metal either. So once you got the power supply off, as you can see, we have to remove the, the bottom black printed plastic piece. We do that by removing the two screws that you see here. And we're going to go ahead and do that now. So now that those two screws are removed, we're going to go ahead and separate the bottom here from the power supply. Be careful because you don't want to pull any of those wires. As you can see, there's a bunch in here. Um, and you don't want to you know, hurt anything while you're doing this. So go ahead and I'm going to turn mine sideways so you can see. And we'll go on to the next step. So once you got that done, there's four screws in the sides that we need to remove. One, two. And there's uh, two on the back side there, three, four. So we're going to go ahead and remove those now. So once we've removed the four screws in the sides, we just have two more in the top that we need to remove. We're going to do that now. So once all the screws are removed, you can go ahead and lift the top plate out. And be careful because the, the fan will be plugged in to the power supply, uh, as you can see. So we're going to reach in, and there's the plug there. And we're just going to go ahead and unplug it carefully. There we go. And you're ready for the next step. So now all we have to do is remove these two screws from the front cover and the fan will drop right off the back. So now that we got the fans out, I want to compare the connectors. Like they're both the same connectors and the wires are in the same uh, order, which is good. That means we can plug this straight back into the board. So an important note uh, that when we put our fan back together, we make we want to make sure that the orientation is correct. So we're actually going to take the label side here and put it face down on the cover. So just go ahead and put it on there, match up your holes, and we'll be ready to screw everything in. The power cable, when you do this, should be on the inside. All right, so once you get it screwed on, it should look like this. It's all secured to the case. And we've gone ahead and tightened these two screws, as you can see. So now what we can do is start installing it back in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set the case back here. Our cable's long enough. We're going to go ahead and push our cable onto the board like that. And as you can see here, we push it in only one way and make sure it's tight. Red wire in, black wire out. So at this point, I just turned the cover and put it back on. And we need to go ahead and screw in all six screws that we took out uh, from the beginning. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. The, something to note when you're going to put the bottom back on, uh, there is a small gap here. But if you look inside, you can see these wires and they kind of get bent in there and squished. So just be careful when you're putting them back in that you make them aligned uh, and then flip this over and install the last two screws and you should be good. So the next thing we want to do is go ahead and install the power supply back onto the frame of the Ender 3. All right, so we got it all connected. I plugged the 3D printer into the power supply in the back. I plugged our power cord in and we're going to turn it on. And the fan does kick in, so that's great. It's now blowing out towards us like it should. I can feel it. I can't really hear it, which is great. And uh, now that that's done, we are good to go. So one more quick note. This is actually still a good fan. It is a little noisy, but it still works and it's a good fan. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this in case the one that I just put in ever fails. I can swap this back out and I don't have to wait for one to come. 
anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something today. And as always, keep printing. Please like the video, click subscribe if you want to see more, and click on the little bell if you want to be notified when the next great videos come out. Thank <laughs> you.